QuickBooks Online 2021 30-day free trial setup. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2021. Here we are on the Intuit website, Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. This is the first place I would go for anything that's going to be QuickBooks related because if you just do a search into your favorite browser such as Google, it might take you to some other website. So you want to go here first because this is the source. These are the owners of QuickBooks. So it's Intuit, I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. That's Intuit, I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. What we're looking for here is to set up the free 30-day trial version of the software, which we will have for a limited time, that being 30 days. Now, we're going to do it up top here in the course because this is something that is often of interest to people. But note that you may not actually need this 30-day trial until the second half of the course. And if you're worried about running out of the 30-day trial period before the end of the course, you may want to wait and hold off on this until the second half of the course but we just want to present the process at this time. We may present it again in the second half of the course. So up here, up top on the Intuit owner of QuickBooks webpage, we have other items that are owned by QuickBooks, other software. They have other packages such as tax packages like TurboTax. We, of course, are focusing in on QuickBooks. At this point in time, they have this icon up top to focus in on it. So I'm going to click on that icon. And then that takes us to our QuickBooks focused page uh, within the Intuit uh, website or system here. I like to go down to the products, which are all the way at the bottom. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the QuickBooks page. You would think that there would be a narrow amount of products here, but you could see that we have a lot of items uh, related to QuickBooks down here. We're looking for the top one, that being QuickBooks Online. It's probably the one that QuickBooks will be driving people to for mostly. It seems like the one they're marketing towards mostly. But... Uh, note that you don't want to get that confused with the QuickBooks desktop version. They do similar things, but they're set up differently and have a different look and feel. We are focusing in this course on uh, QuickBooks Online. So we're going to go into then QuickBooks Online. And then if we scroll down, here's the plans that they have down here below. Now they have the simple start plan, the plus, and the advanced. I won't go through all the details on the differences between them, but the simple start is something that's it's not going to quite have enough for most people. And the plus is going to be the recommended plan. That's the one that we are going to use. That's usually good for, for most people unless you have more advanced needs that you could see down here down below into the advanced plan. Now we're looking here to get the free 30-day trial. And so note up here you got this little toggle item. It says free uh, trial for 30 days. Buy now for 50% off for three months. So you got to actually toggle this to the free side. So now we got the free side for the free 30 day trial. And then I'm going to go through the selection process. I'm going to say that we want then the plus item here. Then it tries to tack on payroll and I don't, I don't want payroll right now because, because payroll would cost more. So we're not going to get into the payroll option. And then it kind of frightens me with this $70 a month thing over here, but it says the free in free trial excludes the discount. So they're trying to give an offer of the free trial or the discount. So I think we still have the free trial here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, check out here. And then I've got a sign, sign in. So sign in for an account. So it has, has on the right, the uh, free 30 day trial includes QuickBooks Online Plus and no credit card is needed, which is nice. Okay, so then we have the initial information that we need to be setting up. So we have number one, tell us about your business. Everyone needs someone, uh, something a little different from QuickBooks. Let's get to know what you need so we can tailor things to fit you. You can change your info anytime in settings. So this isn't kind of set in stone here. We're going to say this is get great guitars. That's going to be our, our demo. For the industry, we want something that's going to be dealing with inventory. And I want it to be kind of generic. So I'm going to put retail, uh, retail, and then all other miscellaneous store retailers. So I'm going to pick that item. And then it says here, I've been using QuickBooks desktop and want to bring my data. So that would be in a situation where you've been using a QuickBooks desktop version and you want to import that or transfer the data in some way to QuickBooks Online. In our case, that's not going to be what we'll do. We're going to start basically from scratch. So I'm going to say then next. And then it has some items that we what we want. So what would you like to do in QuickBooks? I just, I'm just going to check them all off. I want all those things. I want everything to be happening. This is just to get you started. You can always uh, do more later. So I'm going to say, all right, next. And then number three, ready for a free trial of QuickBooks payroll. 
Uh, we make it easy to pay your employees and uh, contractors and file payroll taxes, plus, uh, plus the first 30 days are on us. Now that could be a great tool to practice with. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on at this point in time. If they don't require me to give them a credit card to do that, then I will try to turn that on. Our focus will not be on payroll, however, on, on the first general half of the course. So uh, what you get with uh, QuickBooks Payroll, you get to automated payroll and tax filing, same direct, direct deposit, time tracking, and so on. So again, good thing to practice with if we can get access to the payroll to practice with. So number four, but usually it's an add-on. So notice, obviously, payroll in general would be an add-on item. You'd have to pay extra uh, over and above the standard uh, you know, subscription price. Number four, what's your role uh, at your business? We'll use this info to help personalize your QuickBooks. Uh, you can always change it later in the settings. So an employee, owner, bookkeeper, accountant, uh, it's something else. I'm going to go ahead and say owner just for this example. Do you have an account or bookkeeper right now? And so if it's yes, uh, uh, someone helps me or no, uh, I do it all myself. No, but, but I would like help. I'm going to say we here. Uh, you can work with them right in QuickBooks. Okay, I'm going to say next. So, and obviously you, you can set up your own business and kind of work with your accountant uh, within, within QuickBooks, which is a great tool to be having to be working with your accountant in it. So number five, what kind of business is this? Tell us about your business structure. We use this to help organize your transactions. So sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, uh, nonprofit organization, I'm not sure. We're going to set up a sole proprietorship at this point in time. This is kind of in alignment with the legal entity type that you are in. So if you file a Schedule C at the end of the year for on your tax return, you're probably a sole proprietorship. If you have to do a, another return like a partnership, a 1065, then you might be a partnership type of return. And a corporation for small businesses is, is less common to be like a, a C corporation, but you might be like an S corporation or an LLC or something like that. LLC might be closer to like a partnership kind of formation though. So continuing on then, uh, number six, how does your business make money? Uh, we tailor your accounting categories based on your answers, select all that apply. Uh, I sell products, I provide services, something else. So we're gonna do both here. We're gonna have products and services, which isn't really an option. And this is more just a questionnaire for QuickBooks. So I'm not too concerned with it because it's not gonna affect our setup of the actual uh, payroll. Seven. How do you want to track uh, income and expenses? Linking your bank and credit card accounts is the best way to stay organized. Your transactions update regularly to keep your books up to date. So we're not going to do that at the beginning. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, ob obviously, linking is going to add a level of complexity for a practice problem. So it's going to be difficult to link for a kind of a practice problem. But we will demonstrate bank feeds as part of the course and go over the bank feed process. But also, uh, people kind of are led to believe with the marketing oftentimes that bank feeds are going to solve all your problems. If you just connect to the bank and no problem, everything is, is going to be set up. But you still have to understand what is happening. So, uh, And if you don't, what you'll end up with is a mess of data that you don't really know how to, uh, how to import into the system. They'll import into the system, but they'll be kind of in limbo. And you gotta, you got to know how, where, to, where to put them. The way to do that is to actually learn how the QuickBooks works. So there's not really any getting around it. You got to learn, you know, the, the accounting cycle and whatnot. And then once you do that, then turn on the bank feeds. Uh, and so once we go through this course, we'll kind of have a, a feel for it. Then we could turn on the bank feeds and then be able to apply apply out all those transactions in a, in a much more uh, logical fashion. Hopefully, with more confidence. So we're gonna set up. We're gonna set it up. So it's all set here. And then now we have our, our QuickBooks file, company file set up. So it says, uh, welcome to QuickBooks. Uh, let's show you around so you get your business done. I'm going to turn that off for now. <laughs> so here's going to be our setup. So we got the Get Great Guitars. Now, there's no data in this file. So this isn't great for navigating, like practicing navigation. But it's really good for setting up a new company file, which we'll do in the second half of the course. We're going to set up a new company file. Just start in entering data then from scratch the setup process really helps people that even if they are working somewhere where the file is already set up because the setup process kind of helps you to know how things have been set up or get some inkling of what you know what things were set up like so that you can then go back in there and, and fix any kind of problems that, that have happened 
So that's where we're gonna we're gonna start, or that's where we'll stop here with our our free 30 day trial version. That didn't ask me. Uh, no credit card, I believe, was necessary for the whole process. So that is uh, that is nice, and we're good to go. To, we're good to practice.